Welcome back to Timber Borders. I'm using this as a marketing stunt because I'm going to talk about the Paddy plushie. Look, it's got a fluffy hat and a collar and paws. And overall, it's just fantastic. Go and buy one if you want one. They're only available for a limited time only. <laughs> but this is the Timber Borders. <laughs> oh, you've hit a new low, Matt. You've hit a new low. Right, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to the Timberborners. Yes, I finally sold out on my song. It's become a marketing stunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I can get you guys to watch them. But yeah, we are we are back in the Timberborners, and I've got a bit of an apology to make, potentially. Now, if we head over here to Shameville, let's just hit pause a second. You'll notice this little dude here. Oh no, not him. Not him, he is a shamer. Forget that. Where's the other one? This little dude here. Oh wait, engineers are overrated. What the? Where's Chiba over engineering? Oh, here you go. He's, st he's still in bloody... He's still in Beaverton. But yes, last time we're about to shame this beaver. We're about to send him off to Shameville for picking the wind instrument tuba. I know it's brass. It's just wind because it sounds like farts. Over engineering. However, someone in the comments pointed out, perhaps, perhaps, now this guy doesn't mean that they're picking the tuba over engineering. It just means they've over engineered the tuba. Although, as another commenter pointed out, what is a tuba if not an over engineered whistle? Anyway, I think that means you have been pardoned. You'll remain in Beaverton. At least for the time being. So this episode, we're sort of going to focus on trying to get our explosives going. You'll see over here, we've got loads of power. We're making gears. We're making paper. Things are looking pretty good. What have we got planned back here? The explosives factories. That's good. That just needs planks, gears. Oh, and metal blocks. Oh, I might have missed that. I may have missed metal blocks because these guys, they're getting scrap metal. We need to turn that scrap metal into metal blocks, which I think means using a new bit of technology. Yeah, the smelter. Have we have we built a smelter anywhere? No, there's not even one planned up here. Okay, so we're going to have to go put a smelter in. And of course, it's going to go in our industrial area. So let's go into metal, grab the smelter. This needs power as well. Actually, I'm most sure I haven't done this. It looks like a train. I remember building trains somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. But let's bonk that in. Probably there. Might be worth doing another one as well. So we'll... Where do we want this one to go? Maybe just next to it. We'll do some paths up. We'll put these on max priority. Then we could bring the explosives factory down some priority. Because look, we can't get all the required materials. We need metal blocks. Everything else, it's got. So that is ready to go. And paper mill there. Right, okay. So next up, I'm not sure if we can actually get scrap metal over here without moving this to the other side. Because at the moment, this is part of Shameville. This is part of this district. But there's a district gate there. Can you see? District gate. And that splits the district up. So everything this side of the path is Beaverton. Sorry, Beaverville. Beaverville. <laughs> I know, I know what my place is called. Uh, so what I might want to do is just delete like that, see? Replace it with a district gate and then put a path back in there. Now, the only downside with that is these guys, because these shaming wolves are no longer part of Shameville, they now have no jobs. They've been sacked. So they're not going to be doing a lot for a while. But look, all these beavers are coming. And I think if we click on this, Mr. Zambo, he is carry oh, he's carrying planks. Why are you carrying planks? Oh, here you go. This guy, though, Alibaba, he's carrying scrap metal. There we go. Sorted. So they will get built soon. Oh, I've just realized, though, the explosives factory is sort of in the way. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> so because the power is shared across buildings by them touching, we can't actually get power up to these smelters until that building's built, the explosives factory. And that needs the metal blocks, which means... Oh, we've got two choices, actually. We could either shaft up to there, or we could just do another building and do a path around. Maybe we'll do that instead. If we put smelter there, so that's touching all of them. Do path down to there, and then we'll up the priority of this one, and we'll lower the priority of these two. So hopefully this one will get built first. And that needs 200 power. How much do these produce? Oh, that's not good. Four of them creates 200. Man, I've massively underestimated how much power I'm going to need then. So we've got 200 there, another two, two, so that's 600. That needs 150, that needs 120, that needs 80, that needs 80. Man, we're going to have to have like wheels everywhere along here. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. All right. Anyway, one thing I can do. Do you remember last time I tried to build a Lido to give our beavers somewhere to relax? And basically, I tried to put it on this edge, but we found out the edge was too high. 
Not that the water wasn't deep enough. So if we go over to our dam, we could put some platforms on here. So we could put it like there. So if I just quickly delete some of those spatter docks, build four platforms and then build a Lido. Look, we've actually got one and it's on the dam. You can see the water's already slow this side for whatever reason. Don't really know why. But I think by the time the water gets down here, it's sort of all going at the same velocity. So the power of these wheels shouldn't be affected too negatively. But yeah, it depends if we're going to do another route or whether we're going to try and get engines or I don't know. I don't know. We will have to see. Uh, anyway, I've just realized the uh, the distribution post is still paused. So I might unpause that uh, just because I don't want Machineville beavers dying. They've only got a little bit of food, a little bit of water left. So I might pause and invent. Oh, there you go. EGB, you're going to go be a slave to the Shamers, <laughs> giving them their food. Yeah, I'll empty storage of this small warehouse because I think basically I just want to get this empty as quickly as possible so that I can then put it back into Shameville and we can start filling it up with the scrap metal again. All right. Anyway, you will have noticed there haven't been any births this episode yet that's because i paused all of these birthing pods last time no breeding pods not birthing pods uh, i am wondering perhaps it's time to turn them back on we got 86 beavers thankfully everything's sort of going up i think water's a bit stuck we could use another pump or two i mean they could actually go along this edge so there we go we got three new pumps there i'll just do a path to the front all right sorted they are good to go and oh oh dear oh dear we had quite a lot of deaths there so yeah i think now is definitely the time let's get these pods back on let's unpause all of these oh man look at all the maple syrup around here you can see it like in a circle like an area of syrup now we're not actually mining any of that i think we're just doing the maple over here yeah i don't know if you saw that this guy very sneakily look here he is here he is jonathan kevers he is sucking up that maple you should see it disappear from this tree any second now wait for it wait for it Man, he's a bit of a slow worker, isn't he? Come on, Jonathan. There we go. There we go. Straight into a box. Straight into his tapper's shack. And yeah, we've got loads of that. We've got 250, pretty much, maple syrup, uh, which we use to reinforce planks later on. But uh, for now, we've just got to focus on trying to get this built. Uh, the good news is everything's there apart from gears. Oh, and actually, all of these, they're all, they're all scrap metaled out, which should mean the beavers... Yeah, they've nearly emptied this. 68 out of 200 capacity. I'll tell you what it might be worth doing. Similar to our incredible mega barrack over here. It might be worth trying to do like a huge or maybe a log a log storage. So yeah, we've got three log piles completely full. Uh, but maybe also just general storage. How's our... Oh, they're not too bad. They're not very full up actually. Yeah, okay. I might focus on some log storage then. So what I'm thinking, I want to be fairly close to these trees. Maybe those ones, they can get over there pretty quick. So yeah, what I'm thinking over here by the tapper's shack. Oh, who's that? Who's, who's just sleeping on the job? Mr. Zambo, what are you doing sleeping there, mate? It's like everyone's up. No, everyone's leaving their houses. Homeless guy. <laughs> Still sleeping. I guess he hasn't got an alarm clock because he's homeless. That does sort of make sense. Right, anyway, what I want to do, I want to put some stairs up there. So that's going to require a platform to go there. And then two stairs, one there and one there. Put a path at the bottom bit of path at the top then we can get up here and this is where we're going to do our log scraper i'm going to call it which sounds like an absolutely hideous name the log scraper <laughs> Ew. Yeah, but let's have a look storage industrial log pile now we've got two options we could probably just do a staircase around the outside or we could do staircase in the middle i want to see if i could get away with that sort of shape now obviously i can't do one there because we need to access it but we basically want that on every floor and then on this bottom floor we just want platforms and then log pile going up like that right i'm gonna guess there's not enough space in there <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how uh, how small that is. Yeah, no no room at all. No chance. All right, so what I'm thinking, if we had this sort of thing, so we come up like that. If I just do the ground floor first, we've got that. I'm wondering, can I do staircase? I could do it anywhere, really. If we do that and then we put platforms all the way around, are we going to be able to go up another level or is that going to be the limit? I think that might be the limit. But with that being said, that's a lot of log storage. So we can shove one there, one there and one there can shove three on that side as well and three around this back side I think that's a lot of logs i just i wish i could go up again and the only way i can go up again is if i lose one of the log piles i'd have to replace it with platforms but then 
<laughs> However, if we were to do that, we could then do three levels again. So essentially, this allows us to do three levels in one go, which isn't bad at all, really. So basically, we just go up there and do a path around there, and then we just go up again with more stairs. But yeah, I think for now, we'll just leave that to be built. We might medium prioritize these just so they do get done, and then one of the log piles, just because we're waiting a little bit. We may as well start to use up some of these logs, although it looks like planks are the main issue so is this empty now 50 50 okay it's not quite empty but uh, these guys aren't doing anything anyway so what i'm gonna do i'm going to unempty that i'm gonna delete that district gate delete that path the district gate in over there and a path back in there and then yes hopefully these two beavers once we pause the scavenger flags they should hop into the shaming wheels where they will power randy's gear shop and there you go they're in there they're up and running literally up and running and uh, all is good all is lovely oh god right so in three days time a drought is incoming not good however we've just had a load of births to mr razzle heather bjorn hawaii wong the leaky orifice <laughs> Let's keep you away from drainage. Oh, look over here. We've just had this be built. The smelter. So I'm going to pause some of these jobs. Can we get someone to go in? All right, here we go. Our first ever smelter is Vespian. Let's just follow them on their epic journey. I think they're carrying a log because that's the fuel they need. That will get the smelter up and running. I'll tell you what, I could probably use with like a hauling post or something. Because we don't want him carrying that himself. Who is behind you? Is that just a builder? Yeah, that's just a builder. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's going up and down whoa and smoke's coming out we are smelting scrap metal into metal blocks now that's actually quite a precariously placed building that <laughs> it's literally built on a cliff now we might need to do some reinforcing of that bank to make sure that doesn't collapse in in a future episode but uh, that is great oh and we have our new water pump over here so who is gonna be the next log pumper who has the skills to pump logs all day and night create the drinking water that the beavers crave it is bigfoot hustles look at him swimming across <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so entertaining to watch beavers swim? All right, anyway, Bigfoot is going in there. And oh, yes. He's harnessing years of experience, pumping his wood, finally putting it to good use and helping society. Good work, Bigfoot Hustles. But yeah, I've got sevens over here. They're cutting down some trees. I think that once these birch trees are cut down, I'm actually going to put a hoarding post over there. All right, so I've plonked that there. Again, we've gone for medium high priority. Completely... <laughs> A completely pointless way of using the priority scheduling thing, but uh, it is what it is. I feel like up here as well, where these water pumps are, we could benefit from some closer water storage. Now this large water tank, I mean the fact it fits in that gap perfectly like that, I think that's got to go there, surely. And then it means people taking water from these pumps, they can literally just walk straight over there. Because at the moment, if we watch, you'll see Bigfoot Hustles, he's just left, he's carrying water. And if we speed up a bit and a bit more, you'll see he goes all the way over the river, all the way along here, puts it in that storage, and then comes all the way back every time he pumps water out. So I think that is a good solution to get that done a bit quicker. Again, medium high priority. Shush, shush. <laughs> Uh, oh goodness, the drought has started, right. That means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop some of these jobs. So probably all of these water pumps, or maybe I'll just leave two going. I'm going to pause Bigfoot's one as well. So you guys are all paused. And then, oh, I was about to say, and then we've got loads of unemployed beavers to put in our science factories. But no, there's barely any jobs going. We finally have the point where there's more jobs than beavers. Uh, ah, this is a problem though. We've run out of water here, so we can pause all of these. So the smelter, the gear workshop, the paper mill, they're all paused. And now we've got two unemployed beavers. So we can turn on two of the science factories. That's not very many summer jobs anymore. Things have definitely changed. I'm also wondering, do I need so much maple syrup? And we've got 300 at the moment. That's just rinsing our storage. I'm actually going to pause the tapper's shack. So Jonathan Kiva's... You're going to be a scientist. I'm sorry. That's a massive downgrade. But uh, it's a job that someone's got to do. Someone has got to do it. Now, thankfully, down here, somehow, these wheels are still spinning. Which means Nezabi and Trudy, they're still making planks for us. So good work, both. Right, so whilst these guys are all sort of doing their thing, I might look at trying to extend Shameville up to here. Whether we're going to dynamite, whether we're going to block off, I don't know. But I do know we need to actually get up there and potentially chop some of those trees down. So from our district centre, Center. let's just do a path over to about there i might actually wait till it's morning just so you can see then we're going to shove steps there there 
there, another one there, and another one there. And then we need a platform to go there, more stairs on top. And then we should just be able to path between all of these. If we do like a oh, bloody tree in the way, there's a tree in the way. We can go around the tree up to there. We'll go along this edge only because there's a little berry bush there. So we can't go that way. So we're going this way around. And then we've just got to wait for some shamers basically. Because once we have some shamers, we can put them in the Shameville district center where they can start building all of these stairs. Uh, oh, and speaking of which, who is this? All right, what is going on here? Architect actual bridges right they're unemployed so i'm just going to try and employ everyone else so hawaii wong's gone in there code blue engineer tech has gone in there leaky orifice heather blakely and then we can just click on the district center migrate population one adult please migrate and then hopefully if we click over here on the shameville district center and turn it on yes architectural bridges has gone in there All right where is he there he is right everyone shame Shame. 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 I love that I'm actually pointing with my finger. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Go on, keep going. Keep going, you bastard. There he is. He's in. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Right. Awesome. One shamer in. Oh, look, these boys, they're down here building the final power wheel. So come the wet season, we should have a lot more power up here. Nice. Uh, what I might do as well just because i'm gonna want someone in that paper mill i'm gonna have to delete that path i'm gonna have to put a power shaft in like that and then i can just take a path around it but now i think basically we'll just have to extend our path getting wider and wider just to keep like these buildings connected but that was that was poor placement on my behalf i should have just stuck it touching so I didn't need a shaft, but hey ho, live and learn. It is what it is. Ah, oh, look, the power finally ran out of these. So we're going to pause Nezabi and Trudy and they can also become scientists for the summer. Tell you what, actually, I'm not sure if I'm too happy with this layout. I feel like it's quite a lot of platforms and I'm wondering, could I change it by doing... Let's have a little play while we're waiting because nothing's really happened. If you look down here, there's there's been a few births, a couple of deaths and... <gasps> what? Right. I'm not standing for that. Paddy the architect. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, it's fine. I thought it was architect for a second, but there's an H at the end, not a T. It's a completely different job, completely different genre. I thought someone was mocking my dog for a second, but it's completely fine. It's completely fine. Although an architect, I think I think you're still going to get shamed. So migrate one shameful beaver. All right, here he is, guys. Here he is. Get ready. Shame. 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 And I want you all to fill this one. Join in at home. Shame. 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 Let me know in the comments that you're shaming this guy. Shame. Shame. Poor Paddy. Shame. <laughs> right, and we will be punishing this guy for trying to mock my dog at a later stage. But uh, for now, I'm, I'm going back to my log storage. So, industrial log pile. The other sort of method I was thinking was we could we could do that sort of thing. And then on top, if we were to rotate, so we've got all four orientations now, I think this could work. So say we had our path there, I'm thinking we go up, oh we may as well go up at the latest opportunity because we only need to go up once. So I think we do staircase there, we'll spin around so it's a bit easier to see, it's so then platform, platform, like that, then the two platforms. I feel like this is quite a lot of platforms doing it this way. So there, then the three platforms, and then we could keep going higher obviously, we could do Two, two platforms with another log pile there. And then if we just put the stairs in, you should be able to see what the hell I was doing. So do one there, spin around, put one there, spin around, put one there, and then just path in between. And this one, at least it's got scope to keep going. The only downside is it's a lot of platforms for how many logs you're storing. And you can't really expand it. What I was thinking, I could do, I could surround it with piles of logs like that. But the trouble is with our design, you can only get to that side at that level. I wonder if there's a way of doing different platforms so we can get to every level. I don't really think there is, though perhaps there is. Let's have a little try. Basically, we've just got to try and do paths all the way around at every level. So if we do bottom path first up to there, then we could do stairs in that gap and then we do platforms along that edge that edge that edge and then it's here where it gets tricky because we can't do anything although what if we were to move those stairs to there so we had that and then we could have our other stairs there so here we're a tour so stairs go in there 
That works. So let's just put those paths in first before we build on top of it. So it's just single platforms for another story. I think we might just have to miss out one on every floor. Although actually, why why would that be in the middle? Now this is like its own little puzzle game, like trying to work out how to do this. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't I could I could get away with doing like more along an edge. To be honest, I think I prefer my original method. I might delete all that. Alright, let's just forget that ever happened. <laughs> but yeah, so architectural bridges and Paddy the architect. They are in there. We really need them to start building these, uh, but they need some planks. So we're going to have to ask Beaverville to send some planks over. So let's add a new route. Say drop off there. We want planks. Uh, we can also set limits on all of these as well. All right. So things they take over is carrots. Let's say they have 50 max. No need to have more carrots than that. Chestnuts, they can have 20. That's quite a lot of food. Uh, logs, they're probably not going to need too many logs. Let's just say 10. It's only going to be to build the odd little thing. Thanks as well. I just want to make that 10. Oh god, I can't type 10. How is that 10, Matt? Come on, left hand. There we go. And then water's quite a big one. I might make that 30, maybe 40. I think I'll make it 40. So they won't send any more stuff than that, I hope. I think that's how that works. Right, anyway, the water is running very low. You can see these guys running across there now, which means I should probably think about pausing these i think for breezy you're gonna get paused just because i really don't want to run out of water oh there's two there's two loggers over here tian minar buzzfly i didn't even see you over there blimey no wonder that was going down quick all right more summer jobs oh wait what oh we had loads of deaths no booty blaster died of old age oh god right yeah we lost quite a few beavers there that is not good at all we got two and a half days to try and survive and yeah, we've pretty much got to stop pumping water so i'm a little bit worried for my beavers lives oh no no we've run out of water oh this is really bad guys this is this is really really bad so because we've over pumped and dried out everything Oh no, all of our greenery is now brown, uh, which is very bad because a lot of these things, yeah, look, the spatter dock, we've got loads of spatter dock all grown ready. It's drying out and will die in 0.2 days. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. So we've got to harvest them as quickly as I can. What about the carrots? They are drying out and will die in 1.7 days. Well, that's exactly how long is left of the drought. The trouble is, I think they'll probably die before the water gets down. Are they all the same? There's a few higher ones, so we might just lose a few carrots. That's fine. What about these berries? I think they last quite a while. Yeah, 8.7. That's fine. And trees, they last ages as well. Okay, so not too bad. We are going to lose all of that spatter dock. Oh, I feel, I feel a bit silly. I feel a little bit silly. I got greedy with the water. That's what it was. But yeah, what, what's going on over here? So we've got two shaming wheels which strongest shape best shape has gone in you're not meant to be in there mate and buzzfly is in the other one. Oh, it's a gear workshop that's why and because we're not making any planks we can't make any gears okay we may as well pause that and we'll pause both of you you can all go be scientists how much science do we have oh my god we only got ten thousand science <laughs> crazy but yeah we really need to make some more planks and i'm not really sure the best way of doing that if i'm honest i mean perhaps we can just do it up here so if we disconnect these paths temporarily we'll build a couple of lumber mills there sod it maybe three we'll put the path back around that and look here come the cavalry here they come so they are building those unfortunately we can't use them until we get the water back until these get moving although i wonder could i let's go into power what does an engine cost? Oh, they make 400 HP as well. We could actually get an engine or two. That could save us. Although we do need quite a lot of steel. What is that? 20 steel? Is that what this makes? Yeah, metal block. Well, I may as well unlock it for now. And then we'll decide where we want those to go next time. Oh no, all of our beavers are thirsty. Oh dear. <laughs> is there water for them to drink? Oh, there's no water for them to drink. It's all gone to bloody Shameville. Shameville has 92 water. Beaverville has how much water? Zero. Oh no. We've got a day to survive. All right, this is bad. This is really bad. How can I get my water back? Where is it stored? Is it in here? It's all in there. It's in the drop-off point. How do I get the water back over to there? What if I what if I delete that? Right, this might work. This might work. Let's grab a district gate. 
shove it there, and then do that. No, it's too far. It's not connected to the district center. There is water. I just can't get it to you. It's a hundred water. Don't know how to get it back. Oh man, this is, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Oh man, it's only a matter of time before these beavers die. We've got 0.7 days. I have royally cocked this. Look at all that spatter dock as well. Completely dried out. Not looking good. Oh, it's making me thirsty watching this. Right, EGB, can you go in there and have a drink? Is he? Carries nothing. Oh, no. Oh, I wish I could move it. There's literally a hundred water here, guys. Just, just go a little bit further. Like, they're already walking up there. How can I unload a drop-off point? I'll tell you what I can do. Let's drop the working hours to nothing. Because I'm pretty sure if no one works, they use up less water. They're less thirsty. Is that a thing? I might have just made that up. Oh, look at all the thirsty symbols. Look at all the thirsty symbols. There's half a day left to survive. And just like a good old classic ending of EastEnders, we're gonna do the outro. To find out what happens next time on EastEnders. I'm singing through this outro, even though there's usually a guitar thing going on. Let me know in the comments if you think the beavers will survive. I'm really not sure, but I'm gonna plug the Paddy plushie again. Go buy one while they're limited stock and all that stuff. I just said words, I don't even know what I'm saying. Are you still listening? Is anyone still here? Goodbye. That was the Timberborners. Do, 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 do.